Yes, that's exactly right. I believe that the harm takes several generations to heal, just like it took several generations to commit this crime against so many people, 17 million people approximately. And just like it took several generations to stop. I mean, you know, there are three parts. I mean, first you had the crime being committed over the course of 244 years from uh, 1619 to 1865 approximately in, uh, in North America. You had all of these undefended civilians from the continent of Africa being trafficked or being forced bred or um, just being incarcerated on their work sites by their de facto employers who had the statutory and apparent authority of the governments at the time. So beginning in 1619, that's one generation, right? And over the course of 244 years, you spent several generations, obviously. So this crime, you know, was over the course of several generations of, of people. Likewise, uh, 150 years ago, after, after the 244 year incarceration on their, on their work sites, these uh, civilians were released from the unlawful extrajudicial incarceration. It's now been 150 years, thankfully, otherwise someone like me would likewise be uh, in this situation just by virtue of how my humanity is packaged. And um, and so it's been several generations of, of people uh, over the course of 150 years who are trying to recover from this financially, emotionally, psychologically, socially, in every way. You can see the impact, you can see the lingering effects of what occurred over the course of 244 years. Again, they were incarcerated for a cumulative duration of a hundred of 244 years they have now been free so to speak free <laughs> uh, for 150 years all of this spans several generations it also took several generations for this to stop I mean in the United States you have President Lincoln Abraham Lincoln who finally said it's enough uh, let these civilians go. He didn't use the language civilians. I don't think he thought of them as civilians, but he released these these human beings, these workers from this unlawful situation. He did not say it was unlawful, but he released them. Maybe it was just an act of generosity. Who knows? Okay, so he released them, but he didn't start this, obviously. So it took several generations in order to, um, to, to stop, for somebody to stand up, to have the courage right, the sportsmanship, the statesmanship, all of those things to say, stop, it's enough. And I also think it will take several generations of, of people to, to compensate the, the generation of, of people who are the relatives of these workers whose lives have been impacted um, by what happened over the course of 244 years to their ancestors. And, uh, and that's just how it is. This whole thing has taken several generations in every way. And the notion that, well, this happened, uh, you know, 150 years ago when we didn't, we, the current existing generation, had nothing to do with it, I don't think that is going to, um, to fly because all of this took several generations and it will take several generations for it to, to be over. It's only been 150 years of freedom, 244 years of unlawful incarceration. And it's also going to take several generations to, to, to rectify the situation, to compensate the families of these workers, and also to, to rectify the record about who and what they were. They were not slaves, right? They were human beings. They were civilians. They were unlawfully and extrajudicially um, imprisoned on their on their work sites and violated in many other ways their constitutional rights, their speech rights, their property rights, their labor rights, their their just their right to be a member of the human species. All of that was violated, 
over the course of 244 years. And, um, you know, and again, it took several generations to complete all of that violation. It took several generations to stop it. It has now taken several generations of people, 150 years to be exact, to, you know, basically say, look, we, we need to be compensated for this. This was wrong. This was unlawful. This was a injury that uh, is actionable under the law of our family members. So, yeah, it's it's a generational thing. <laughs> Thank you.